Hello and welcome to our video about the Yak-141, a unique Russian takeoff and landing VTOL, fighter aircraft. The Yak-141 was designed in the 1980s as a replacement for the Yak-38 naval fighter, and it featured innovative technologies such as a vectored thrust engine, a lifting fan, and a composite wing. Although only a few prototypes were built and tested, the Yak-141 demonstrated impressive performance and versatility. The Yak-141 had a distinctive appearance, with a slender fuselage, a large wing with forward-swept tips, and a cockpit for the pilot. The aircraft was powered by a single R79 volts minus 300 engine that could direct its thrust through three nozzles, one in the rear and two in the front. The engine also drove a fan located behind the cockpit, which provided lift for the aircraft during vertical and short takeoff and landing the slash stole operations. The Yak-141 was armed with a 30mm cannon and various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. The Yak-141 was designed to operate from small and mobile platforms, such as aircraft carriers, and to perform a variety of missions, from air defense to ground attack to reconnaissance. The Yak-141 had a maximum speed of Mach 1.7 and a combat radius of up to 800 km, depending on the payload and the mission. The Yak-141 could take off vertically with a full weapons load and a fuel tank, and it could land vertically with a partial load, or it could land conventionally on a runway. The Yak-141 could also hover in mid-air and transition from vertical to horizontal flight, or vice versa, in a matter of seconds, thanks to its vectored thrust and lift systems. Despite its promising performance, the Yak-141 never entered production, due to various factors such as budget constraints, political changes, and the lack of a suitable customer. However, the Yak-141 paved the way for other VTOL aircraft, and it contributed to the development of new technologies and concepts in aviation. The Yak-141 also remains a symbol of Russian engineering excellence and ingenuity, and it continues to inspire enthusiasts and experts alike. Thank you for watching our video about the Yak-141. Please share your comments, questions and suggestions below, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.